As Paul already mentioned, uh, we started uh, from two existing applications uh, which uh, were intended for specific purposes and uh, that's uh, actually a common situation that uh, you have uh, tailored applications for a specific purpose and you uh, serve them to the farmer but uh, often the farmer is not happy with that situation because he or, he, uh, he or she needs some uh, comprehensive application uh, which uh, would cover if not all then most of uh, the work uh, in the farm so we had this as a goal of our challenge as was already also mentioned and we saw uh, during well let's say hours of discussions uh, that there are three uh, basic levels uh, which we can distinguish first level is uh, what we would like to do and know before a season starts or if we want to plan several seasons in, in, a, in a row then uh, there is a, a question when the season runs uh, you know when to intervene when to go to the field uh, where, where, when is it safe when it's uh, beneficial for, for the crop etc and the third level we see uh, the, the in-field variability, the, the management zones of the field. So if I go with the machinery into the field, then what I can do to be effective. So it means uh, uh, take care of the field, not uh, cause a lot of damage, uh, but uh, put there some fertilizer, whatever it is. So. Uh, this, that was basically our start and we want to uh, develop uh, something which would cover all of these three levels as I mentioned. So it means that uh, we started with the, uh, with the first level, we call it a farm level, so we saw here in this, this so-called mock-up uh, the situation uh, in the farm, so we see all the fields. We see some basic climate uh, diagram, also information about how temperature to the temperatures during the seasons uh, are, uh, what is the precipitation, and uh, there are some more uh, information uh, about uh, about the place. Uh, we take this uh, data from climatic uh, data service, global data, but th they could be uh, taken from. Uh, uh, from a local metal station as well so you, you see here uh, those graphs uh, in season graphs so you see week by week uh, what, what is happening here uh, we can also show the uncertainty of, of uh, the data so we know with which data we deal we can also take a look uh, if there is something happening uh, during uh, several years backwards because the global data allows us to go back to 1982 as you can see so you can analyze the data uh, in those years if if you are interested and this is the very basic information about the place then we go go here uh, from the place overview to the crop overview where we compare a crop which we select uh, uh, and its suitability for the place so what you can see here we can select the crop we can add even our own crop whatever and in gray you see the conditions of the place uh, always the gray color here in the graph and there are uh, red yellow and green colors for the for the crop which comes from the model of the crop and you know as long as the crop uh, related uh, lines are below what is uh, what is available in the in the environment that's fine and therefore uh, it is green here but uh, if we select another crops uh, maybe uh, this is you know just the mock-up so it's not visible here maybe it would be changed uh, to to red or yellow whatever uh, the first uh, Tape, uh, to the first uh, level here uh, we end with the mock-up which uh, shows how we can discuss uh, the sequence of the crops so we, we can 
prepare something which would compare first crop how it behaves to the pl uh, to the place so then we will select another crop etc so this is for more than one season planning to be honest this is not developed yet but we continued uh, to the second second level which is the tactic level the uh, fields so here what the farmer see is uh, you know the season started uh, and you have uh, plenty of your fields and if you turn the view a bit you can see based on some uh, satellite data here uh, some calculated uh, indexes it could be uh, NDVI index it could be moisture index uh, it could be any uh, it could be compared based on uh, pest and disease models as well and you can see you know which of the field needs your attention uh, the first so we would say from the view we see now uh, that the more dark fields are uh, more in danger for some uh, for some reason so we can uh, we can uh, first uh, intervene in these fields and then you know update the information about the fields and the next day you can uh, see that uh, and other fields needs your attention etc you can also uh, look for a specific uh, type of crop uh, so in this uh, case we we, uh, we work uh, with uh, uh, with corn and we can see that from corn fields the field uh, which needs uh, the attention the most is this one for example and in that case, uh, you will be delivered with with uh, an information, detailed information, how it looks like uh, the situation in the field. And basically, uh, for now, we have uh, just a green a green color here, but we can expect also the in-field variability. So we can see how the indices are, are changing from from place to place. Uh, which could be calculated from the remote sensing data and that would take us uh, to the operative uh, uh, tab which is not developed yet but the, here we expect that uh, as, as I mentioned applications which are related to management zones etc. So this was the design of the application the mock-up uh, and uh, we actually were able to even prepare some very first prototype so my colleague Frankie Sheikh will present you uh, the contemporary prototype of our application